friend of mine who is big data analyst invented a test to check how deep your knowledge of Excel basics. Only one out of five was able to complete it. And let's check if you are one of them. Grid Cells presents Blue Bird Test. So task is going to be rather simple. Based on numeral values inserted into cell, expect it to see different icons. If the value is going to be positive, cell should contain blue bird. If it's going to be negative, green fish. And if zero, red squirrel. Looks simple, right? But there is going to be only two limitations for you. So first one is going to be rather simple, no conditional formatting for you today. And the second is going to be rather strange, no any formulas allowed. How do you think? If these limitations will stop you? I hope not, so I will give you 10 seconds to come up with your solution. And they are starting now. So now let's create a macro that will substitute numeral values with respective picture based on their conditions. We are going to open the Visual Basic scriptwriter, select our worksheet, and we are going to select a scope basically to worksheet, changing the trigger to change. So now we have a script that will be launched as soon as there is going to be any change to any of the cells on the worksheet applied. Deleting the absolute code and we are ready to start. So first of things, we need to understand that the script accepts target as a range of all changes. So basically, if we are changing two or three cells, they are going to be joined together. So now we need to create a script that will actually work with each cell in our target range. And next cell, just not to forget to complete the loop. Next thing, we need to check if this is not an empty cell because empty cell by default equals to zero so we are creating the condition if not is empty and we are taking a cell as input so now we are ready to proceed and close and if conditions not to forget the same next things we need to check that the value in the cell is actually numeral we are not going to change any text so same, we're creating a condition, so if is numeral and we're creating a cell, triggering the value of the cell, and if it is numeral, then we're ready to go further. So now let's create a variable that's going to be a picture name as string, so that we're going to use it for the name of a picture we need to actually provide to the cell. So now we're basically ready to create the conditions that will check what the cell value. To do that we're creating select case for cell value and creating the first case that is more than zero. So basically picture name is going to be equal to bluebird GPG. Next case that is below zero and the picture name in our case is going to be equal to greenfish. GPG. And the last case if it's going to be equal to zero we need to be specific equal to zero then our picture name is going to be equal to red Squirrel. So basically conditions is done, we are having all the names. The last thing we need to do is actually to insert the value to our uh, worksheet. So by default, if we are going to insert any of the pictures, it's, go it's going to be inserted into the active cell, so we need to make our cell in, in the target range active. So now it is activated and now we are working the, with the following. We are taking active shit pictures insert and we are 
we need to provide the direct link to the picture. By default, I have stored all the pictures in the same folder as this file, so we are going to apply the following. We are going to take active workbook and we are going to take its path. So now we need to add up only one thing. So now we are adding up the hash and adding up the picture name. So now the picture is inserted. Only one thing is left, so we need to make sure that it's the picture size is also is under control. And by some checks, it was identified that ultimate uh, size of the picture is 15 pixels. So we are going to change the height of uh, this picture. To do that, we are going to refer to our all pictures we are having in our active worksheet. And we are going to take the highest uh, index with this picture. So basically, we are going to do the following. We are going to take active shit. We are going to take pictures. We are going to take count. And that will return the highest index of the picture. So now we are applying to this newly assigned picture here height trigger and it's going to be equal to 15. So everything looks good now. Next thing, by default, as soon as you are inserting any value to the page, any value to the cell, by default, as soon as you are triggering enter, it selects the next cell that is usually on the bottom of select one. So we are going to input also cell offset and we are going to move one row down, zero columns to the right and let's make it selected. Now the script looks pretty completed. The only thing that we need to change that as soon as you are going to insert the picture into the cell, we need to make sure that the value of the cell is going to be blank. So we are selecting cell value and changing it to the blank entity. Now we are ready to test our script. To have this done, I have created a test case with several text and number cases and we are going to just insert it in. You can see everything except the text of subscribe and like has been substituted with the respective picture and that means that we have basically fulfilled the task. Let's check out the next solution. Easier and faster way to solve the task is to change format of the cell. We usually use general number, percentage or date formats, but today we are going to create our own. I have already inserted our test case to our worksheet and we are going to work with that. But before we are going to start adjusting the formatting of the cells, we need to do some pre-work. And we are going to insert actually the symbols for the animals mentioned in the task. To do that, you need to go to insert and click on symbol. So now you need to change the font by default to webdings and basically find the animals we are looking for. In the end, you will be able to see next to the plane our squirrel, bird and fish. Now we need to insert them in the sequence mentioned in the task. So bird is for positive, fish is for negative and squirrel is for zeros. Let's close this form. You can see that animals has been shown up in the first cell. So now probably you are not able to see our animals in the input bar, but they are there. Copying the values, selecting a test case and going to format cell. So we're going to create in the category, click on customs, delete everything and insert symbols we have generated. All the things left, we need to separate them with semicolon. And let's click OK. Something went wrong. We are not able to see our animals here. But that's probably because we have not selected the right font. So now let's move on to the Vabdings font. And maybe let's make it a little bit bigger with 30 or 20 pixel size. Now we can see our bird, squirrel and fish. Still the text has been converted, but our subscribe word is still there. Selecting our test case again and let's adjust our format. 
So in each of the section, we are going to add up the coloring. And this is going to be done in the square brackets. So first one was a blue bird. So we're adding up the blue word here. Next one is a green fish. So we're adding up the green one. And the last one is red squirrel. So adding up here the red one. Clicking OK. And now we can see that our numbers has been changed to icons of the animals with the respective coloring. Was it easier than creating a macros? Thank you for watching. I really hope that you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm already working on a new test for you. So don't miss it.